So I've been asked to make this video a few times and I'm finally get around, getting around to doing it. And it is how to lash uh, or attach a knife to whatever you have with Molly on it. Um, and you know, in this case, I carry a knife on one of my plate carriers here. And it's the same knife I just showed you right there. And so people have asked me how do I attach a knife to the Molly? And that's what I'm going to show you. Now what I'm going to show you on is this SOG backpack. It's one of my truck bags. Uh, it's one of them that stays in my truck. It's got a tent in it. It's got a bunch of camo netting in it to cover the front end of the truck and the, the biggest white areas of my truck. Um, belt knife. It's got some uh, emergency food rations in it. Some uh, uh, mylar blankets. Th stuff like that. Just, just a small uh, survival bag. But this is what I'm going to show you on, and we're going to talk about a couple different knives, the best knives, the best types of knives to choose from, and uh, how to attach them to the Molly webbing. So let's first talk real quick about the knives. Um, one of the things you probably want to have if you're going to think about attaching a knife to Molly webbing is that your knife has a kydex or plastic sheath. Uh, most times, um, knives with kydex or plastic sheaths will have things like you see here, rivet holes, these slots cut in them, and things like that. Also, many times what you see is <clears throat> this one has a detent there to help give this some pressure, and this one here, which is my favorite one, actually locks in. Like that. And so you, you one of the things about these Kydex sheaths is they usually have really good retention. So you can mount them upside down, sideways, or right side up and not have to worry about them. Now with something like this Coast knife, um, this is a really good knife. I love this knife. I've used this knife for years. It's got a rubber handle on it. As you can see, it's, it's pretty beat up. I have done just about everything with this blade. Um, but the problem with trying to mount something like this to Molly is that many times your nylon sheaths or even leather sheaths don't have any place to weave anything through because we're going to be using paracord or a bank line to do this. It doesn't have any place to weave the paracord through and it doesn't have much structure. Even, even good leather sheaths don't usually have much structure. And I'm just saying usually. I know there's cases out there that's that, that doesn't hold true. I'm just, you know, on average, they don't have much structure. So when you go to tie these things down, you have a tendency to crush the nylon or the leather, making the blade cut the sheath when it goes in and out. Now, one of the first things you're going to want to do is have yourself a couple feet of paracord. That normally, that, that covers most knives that I've ever tried to do this to. Uh, whether it's a, a medium-sized knife like this, uh, one that's a little longer, like the green one in my hand, and even small ones. Uh, so you want to get yourself two to three, even four feet of paracord. Uh, you can always cut off what's left over. And uh, one of the first things you're going to want to do is make sure you got a clean cut, a clean cut on the end, and burn that end, and make sure it's nice and flat after you get done burning it. I'm doing this right underneath one of my AC vents, so the flame is moving on me. Okay, see what I've done here? I burned the end, sealing the end off so that the innards don't come out when you're trying to weave it. And by pulling on it, you know, just kind of forming it as it's melting, I've created a point so it's easier to, to uh, thread through. So I'm going to do the same to the other side real quick. Make sure I have, see that is not a very clean end. You're going to want to cut that off to where it's a, to where it's a cleaner end. Like that.
and you're just melting that outside a little bit encapsulating the innards of it all those white threads and there you go again so now with different knives you're probably going to have different ways that you're going to want to lace them in there and that's all you're really doing is lacing them almost like a boot in there um, you start at the end to give it an anchor point and then you lace in and out of the molly through your eyelets or slots back over the, the sheath back under through the molly and like I said back up through the eyelets or, or, or slots back over the kydex back, back over the sheath over under over under crossing and and stitching into the molly as you go and in and out of the eyelets and and, uh, and slots as you go and by the end you get a nice tight knot at the end burn the burn the ends of your paracord and it should be nice and nice and snug now with one like this where it's got really evenly spaced slots here a person could use this as an anchor point and come up and go like this snake through the molly and then cross over just at the top to secure it down and anchor it but we're going to go ahead and go with this one first I've laced this one many times I like I said I have it on my plate my one of my plate carriers now I've done it for other people and uh, we're going to do it again for this video because this is going to be more complicated than this is because this has even spacings and this has odd weird shaped holes and spaces okay so we're going to start out just like I said um, I like to get the end of the sheath lined up with one row of molly I don't like to start it low and I don't like to start it too high I like to start it at the end you know at the end uh, with the, the the last row of molly to use as an anchor spot so I'm just going to lace these in there like so unlike boots where you would start under this is going to start over and you're just going to don't worry about it not sitting down flat while you're doing this because you'll tighten it up as you go now how many rows of molly you use is going to completely depend on how big your knife is how secure your knife needs to be or how secure you feel it needs to be um, how much paracord you use and how many times how many times you wrap it around so what I've done here is I've created an anchor point there like I said and I've X'd I've gone under and I'm Xing around right so I'm going to take this next row of eyelets like I said almost like a boot now this is where you have to play around I could go through that eyelet but it's lower than that one or I could go through the bottom of that slot it's a little higher than that eyelet but it's more uh, 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 it would, it, it's more across from it so I'm going to choose to use the slot because of how it ends up cross it again I'm going to go into this here like that I'm going to go into this eyelet here so you see it starting to take shape now I'm going to take this one and go under that and I'm going to go under this next row of webbing like I said you are going to tighten it up as you go now if you choose to you can just go over this if you'd like and wrap back around because you've already got several anchor points here that are anchoring it from pulling as you try to unsheath it so if you just want to 
tie it down so that it's tight against your plate carrier or backpack or whatever you're using it for, you can do that at this point. Because like I said, you've already got several rows that, that, are, anchor, that are anchor points. But I am going to go one more time. Like this. I'm going to come up through here. And see how it comes through the Motley. Come up through here. Come up through here. Give it a couple good jerks. It tightens these up real well. Come up to this one here. This one here. I come back underneath here. And underneath. If I can. here okay now what do you do do you go over it and tie it well with this knife I can't because the sheath goes all the way there and it would interfere with with the uh, with the pulling the knife out of the sheath so what I'm going to do is I was just giving you an example of how many times you may have to do this. What I'm going to do here is play around with a little bit and figure out the next best way to do this. So for me, it's probably going to be like this. And I have an advantage here because I have laced this knife on other things before so, this is not new to me. And at this point, you can tie it off if you want. Give it a, just a square knot or a double knot there. Or, if you want to use something like this to help it to help tie it down even harder you can do something like that and use some of the crossovers and pull them tight to help pull those tight so something like this pull those crossovers tight but any way you put it come on You could also tie it behind it. You could get back there and tie it. But either way, as you can see here, while the pocket is loose, that is on there very well. And you can see how that would be good on a plate carrier or an LBE, LBV, something like that. And then, like I said, once you're done, Cut the ends, burn them to seal them off. That one's a little messy, but we'll make do with it right now. And you're pretty well done. You've just attached your knife 
to Molly Webbing. So now that you know how to do it, uh, or you got at least a general idea, where do you place a knife on your plate carrier? Um, now in, in this video, we just attached it to this backpack, which I'll be taking back off because I usually carry a knife in this side pocket. Uh, I have other plans for this one, but I just wanted to show you how to do it and how well it worked. But where do you place a knife on your plate carrier? Now, as you can see, if I'm wearing this, I have it right here, so I can grab it and use it. Some people put them on their shoulder pads. I'm not a big fan of that because some, a lot of times it interferes with shouldering a rifle. Um, but I like personally, and it's going to be all personal opinion for you guys. You know, a cross draw across the chest, you know, or an upward draw on either side, or or if you have a cummerbund and a smaller knife even in the cummerbund. Uh, and then of course you can always wear it on your belt. That's all I got for you. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you like videos like this, give it a like, uh, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for listening and we will talk to you later.